guys and welcome to the channel. This is Chris Time FK7. My name is Chris and I make videos on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon so that you can get notified every time I do post a video on the channel because I do post every Tuesdays and Saturdays. Now with that being said, as you can see, the car is lifted from the rear and that's because I had somebody do a muffler delete on this 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatch. Let's go. So this is what the stock exhaust looks like. Now as you can see, I still have my two mufflers attached. So after the muffler delete, they're basically going to be cutting over here or somewhere over here. And then they're going to be connecting a pipe. And then basically they're just going to get rid of this, these two big old mufflers right here. Um, so the goal is, you know, this will be louder uh, without these mufflers. So. I could also do it myself, but once I cut this, there's going to be nothing to support this pipe right here. So this could like dangle. Um, and if I use zip ties, then obviously the zip ties could melt because of the heat. Um, so let me take you farther in. So it connects all the way there. So like, as you can see, there's really nothing supporting this uh, except for this part right here but this connects to the muffler which obviously I'm gonna get rid of um, so let's have a better look at the whole assembly with the muffler and it looks just like that these two big old mufflers that muffle the sound um, so once we get rid of this then you're gonna have a louder more beefier sound um, so right now just a muffler delete somewhere down the future I'm gonna get a full-on exhaust system which we would be disassembling this whole entire thing um, taking off this whole exhaust system um, but that's gonna be a future video uh, but right now I just want to do a muffler delete only because it's cheaper and it's a lot faster so there you go so in this video, you get to, you're gonna get to hear the stock sound of this vehicle uh, from the cold start to me revving the vehicle, as well as the new muffler delete sound. So right now, I'm gonna be playing the stock sound that this car had from the factory. So that's the stock sound from the factory. As you just heard, it's not as loud and it's not as deep as what we have in the muffler delete. So I'm going to be playing the new muffler delete sound.
here is the old muffler of the car and basically these are silencing your car so it's reducing the noise that's been that's being outputted on your exhaust. So removing these exhausts will make your exhaust sound louder and it's going to have that deeper tone to it, uh, especially in that lower RPM range when you're driving the car. Usually you'll hear that deeper sound on the 2000 to 3000 RPM level uh, as you're driving or slowing down. And this is it right here. And this is pretty heavy. Uh, I would say this is about 20 pounds. So removing this also saves weight. Um, and I'll be showing you what they did uh, with that muffler delete. So this is what the exhaust looks like from underneath. So now as you can see the mufflers are now gone. And the guy that I took this to, uh, he made a little bracket up there to support these end pipes right here. And I did keep the stock pipes. Um, so. Like I didn't change anything to it. Like I didn't increase the diameter or anything. I just kept the stock diameter. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like without the mufflers. Uh, and you can tell where he cut uh, because you see that cut point right there. Um, so he put like a stainless steel pipe on it. And uh, after that, that's it. That's the muffler delete. And of course, if you look over here, um, there's like the exhaust hangers that is supporting the system and the stock ones are still there as well so if ever in the future which I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna get a whole exhaust system and I'm gonna be putting it I'm gonna be installing it uh, myself so that you guys can see how exactly you can install an exhaust on your car but for now we're gonna be sticking to muffler delete so that we can compare and contrast muffler delete versus the full-on exhaust system for this car. All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. As you can see, the muffler delete is well worth the money because not only does it make your car lighter, but it also makes it a little bit louder. Now it's not too loud where it's gonna be disturbing your neighbors, but you hear that growling sound from your car. Even though it's only a four cylinder, it really makes it sound like a beast even though it's a four banger, so it's really not a beast. But yeah, and the thing that I noticed is that the turbo noises, since I do have an intake on this car, it does make it louder as well. So during those lower RPMs, around 2000 RPMs, is when you're gonna start to hear that whooshing noise compared to the 2500 to 3000 RPM, where you would start to hear the whooshing noise uh, stop. So with this muffler delete, your intake noise is gonna be so you're gonna be hearing the intake around 2000 RPM versus the 2500 to 3000 RPM that you used to get on the stock exhaust. But with the muffler delete, you're gonna to start to hear that whooshing noise at 2000 RPM and it's really worth getting. So I highly recommend you guys to get a muffler delete on this car. And if ever you're in the market for LED lights or floor mats, make sure to visit LastFit's website and use code CTFK7 for that 10% off. And that just doesn't apply for Hondas, that applies for all vehicles in general. So again, that, that's code CTFK7 for that 10% off. If you like this video, be sure to hit, hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys think of this video or if you have any future suggestions of what I should be posting on the channel because I do read the comments and I do respond to most of the comments as well. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7, and peace out.